Hey everybody, welcome to another recap of Dancing with the Stars. Uh, the encore dance, let's get right to it. It was Joanna and Derek doing their futuristic pas doble. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was just as good as last night. And I was hoping they were going to pick that one because I really wanted to see it again. So then they did a little recap and then, you know, their little commentary on, of course, everyone wants to be in the semifinals. That's why they're on the show. So... They trotted out Michael Bublé. Hello, he sang, haven't met you yet. And Jonathan and Anna and Maxime and Cheryl performed along with him, which was fabulous. Maybe I'm just a sucker for a guy in a skimpy, shiny suit or, you know, he can actually sing. So I really enjoyed his performance. For the encore, he sang Feeling Good, which is one of my favorite songs. It was totally classy. Uh, yeah, and he had some classy dancers accompanying him, too. They were really fabulous. It almost looked like they had sped up the tape they were doing, like, so amazing. All right, dance center time. Kenny Maines, <laughs> Jerry Rice, Lenny, and Stacy Keebler. Did he call Len an old wanker? Because isn't that, like, a dirty old man in, like, a really derogatory term? So, yeah, all right, let's get right to the reviews. Joanna, she's hot. A hot seal. <laughs> okay, she's gorgeous, but she has a really awkward laugh. I don't think anybody's going to be kicking her out of bed for eating crackers. Donnie, he's ageless. And he's in love with Bruno. He can't help it. Aaron, he's emo. He's a fragile snowflake. Kelly, She's a tiny enigma that swears. <laughs> She's just like that chick from uh, The Sound of Music. What is it with the Brits? They got the filthiest mouths. Maya. Len, oh my God, did you really need to do this? He totally called her out for her non-dancing. That's so not cool. So now it's time for Design a Dance. You know, Sabrina Bryan and the mystery celebrity. Well, I was hoping it was Mark Ballas, and sure enough, it was. They danced to Paso Doble to Eye of the Tiger. And let me say, the costumes were a little scary, <laughs> even for ballroom. All right, so all I have got to say about the dance was what was with the weird flip slash giving birth move. It was very disturbing, and I'm probably going to have nightmares about it. Speaking of, uh, Susan Boyle came out and sang her I Dreamed a Dream. She practiced, thank God. Tony and Chelsea uh, accompanied her, and I must say they were really fantastic. And I've noticed this season that uh, they've been pairing the two of them a lot more, and I'm really enjoying uh, their chemistry between the two of them. So, that brings us to the bottom two kids, Aaron and Karina and Kelly and Louie. So they dragged it out a little bit longer than they should have, uh, one extra commercial, and I'm pretty sure Louie mouthed the F-bomb. He dropped a silent F-bomb on, on the audience <laughs> and on the television audience. So when it was time to announce the person who was eliminated, yeah, it was Aaron and Karina. And Len, I don't know why he felt the need to say something, Maybe he felt bad that uh, Aaron's fans were turning on him. He didn't have the fan support. He did great, though. He'd be proud to have him as a son. Who cares, Len? He doesn't want to be your son. Next week, it's the semifinals. Till next time, much love.